Howdy folks. Let's go over the wait until command. The wait until command allows you to wait on something and it will continue to wait until the condition that you give it fulfills a truthy value. So let's take a look at that in action. If you look at this example here, you have some text right here. I am some text. And then after a second, it's going to change it to I am a different text. So here is the wait until. And you can check that it's getting the text of the sum text element and it's waiting for it to equal I am different. And this in here is going to be synchronous. So until this is actually fulfilled, nothing else is going to be executed after this until this condition is true. So this is very similar to what we did with our wait for displayed and wait for enabled and wait for exist. The only thing different is this is custom. We can do whatever we want. So let's see that in action. We're going to go back over to our test site that we've been playing with. And let's grab an example here. So let's click this remove. And we're going to wait until this checkbox disappears. See how it disappeared? So let's do that. Let's see what this ID is. ID is checkbox. So we're going to be, essentially wait till this element does not exist on the page anymore. We could have done that by doing the reverse of the wait for exists, but let's just see how you can actually do this by creating a custom command and you can mod modify it to do whatever you want. And in just a sec, we'll go over changing some text as well. All right, so we need to get to the dynamic controls page. Uh. All right, so let's open the page and then we're gonna wanna click the remove, which is gonna be, we can do checkbox example. button and we'll just do click and now we can do our wait until so we want to wait until this is removed and doesn't exist anymore so that would be this div checkbox here so let's wait for that to not be there so let's re we're going to return it because this is basically, it keeps keeps trying until it returns true. So let's do checkbox dot get text. Or not get text is, let's do is existing. Is existing just checks to see if a, a element exists on the page. So we want to wait till it doesn't exist. So let's negate it. So now we can, let's just run it. Uh, and then stash spec, and we'll do, I created a wait until test here, if you can see. So let's see if we've got this correct. So it's gonna click it, and now we're just waiting until it removes that, boom. Perfect, so that worked, awesome. So now let's try the text example. So let's let's go to the home page here. And we're, gonna, we're just gonna, we're gonna fake it out here, but you have the welcome to the internet. We're gonna go into the console and we're gonna actually, we're gonna change this once the test starts. Um, so you can see how it has the heading. After the test starts, we're just gonna change it here. We'll do dot heading. Text content, I already did it there. So this, you're gonna see this is gonna change to foo. So we're gonna actually run this in our test. But so we're gonna wait until that text is actually equal to foo. So we're on the home page. So let's get rid of that. We can get rid of that and that. And now we can do 
look for a heading. And then get text equal to foo. So now this is gonna wait until the text is actually equal to foo. Let's run that. And we're gonna modify that in our test manually. So nothing's gonna happen. So let's modify this. So if you watch, you'll see once I run this command, oh, I need to increase our timeout. Oh, well, yeah, I needed to increase the timeout, but heading wasn't found, so I just need to, actually it's a class. Let me open up our config and let me increase the timeout. Actually, I'm not gonna increase it here. I will go over how to increase it right here. So you can actually increase it right in the wait and tell. And let's see, if you look here, the timeout is the second parameter. So the first parameter is our condition. The timeout is the second condition. So let's set that up to 45 seconds. All right, so now it won't time out until 45 seconds later if it can't find text of foo on the element. All right, so let's inspect. So we're just gonna manually change this text. And then what's gonna happen is it's gonna succeed. Selector. All right, so now we're gonna change that to foo and our test should succeed. Yep, so it succeeded. Perfect. So you can kind of see a, a lot of different things you can do with that. But let's go over the rest of the parameters. So we went to the timeout, we can change that. That will still default. If we don't specify it, it will default to what is set here in the config. Um, but the third parameter is going to be the timeout message. So we could just say like, get text foo did not exist. So if this fails, this is what would output to the console. Let's actually do that now. Let's just do 2000 seconds and this should output to the console with that error. It's saying stale element reference is not attached to the page document. Interesting. Okay, that actually might be a bug right now in WebDriver. So we won't worry about that right now. <laughs> but you know, usually this would just text, uh, it's in beta right now, so still working some kinks out. But usually this, it would output this error if this did not exist. So good. So now the fourth parameter we can do is actually an interval. So what happens is wait until keeps going. It keeps trying to find this, this text. So it keeps just keeps calling this function, keeps calling, keeps calling, keeps calling. So we can set an interval for how long it waits in between calling everything. So we can set it to a second. So now it'll call this if it fails. It'll wait one more second, then it'll call it again. If it fails, wait one more second and call it again. And all of the wait, wait for functions do the same thing. And there's actually a default in the config for this where we can actually change this. I think it defaults to 500. Let's see. Where is it? Ah, it's not here, but we can do, where's our, there? we can do wait for interval. Which will be, we can set it to one second there if we want. 
So good. We set that there. Let's normalize that. All right. That is it.